Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a quick review of a foundation. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. In the haul that I did in February, the beauty haul, I had picked up three different drugstore foundations and I said I was going to do first impressions reviews of all of them. Um, I have been trying this out. The reason why is if you can't really tell from my neck and my arms, I have been self-tanning. So the original shade I picked up is not going to work because... It just would make my face look... I mean, if you wanted to have a white face and a tan body, I guess that'd work. But that's not the look I'm going for. Um, so I've been having to play with it and experiment to try different um, colors that would match with my self-tan. And the reason I decided to do it with this one... As while I did like the L'Oreal True Match, I did want to try something else, and I've been really, really hearing really good things about this one, and I've been really wanting to try it. So I decided just to use this one to get a darker shade in. First off, let me tell you this. Okay, I used the Fit Me Original formula ages ago, like when I first started wearing makeup, which honestly was not that long ago. It was maybe my freshman year of college that I started seriously getting getting into makeup my freshman year senior year of high school freshman year of college um and even then i had no idea what i was doing so the thing with the original formula it was always kind of sliding off my face i have really oily acne prone skin it was always sliding off my face it's coming off it's getting patchy it was just a hot mess so i've never returned to it i started using high-end products and i kind of hadn't returned back to drugstore formulas until i was going back and was like you know as much as I like high-end products, high-end foundations aren't really doing it for me right now. I feel like, you know, I haven't found a high-end foundation that I'm like, I absolutely 100% love this, stand by it forever. So I've been trying to get back into the drugstore because it's just cheaper as a whole and seeing there are some really good products. And again, I did do a first impression of the L'Oreal True Match, so I will leave that link down below. Um, so anyways, the Maybelline Fit Me. I am 100% in love with this foundation. I would not stop wearing it since I got it. I wear it every single day. And one, that's because even if I'm not doing the rest of my makeup, it's just sheerly for the fact that I don't self-tan my face. That way my neck and my face aren't like this huge white difference. I know for some people, if you're olive or certain color, if you're self-tanning and you don't self-tan your face, you can still get away with not wearing makeup because... There's not a huge discrepancy between your skin tones. There is a huge discrepancy between my two skin tones. So I do have to wear this every single day unless I'm at the house or something and absolutely nobody's going to see me. So anyways, this is amazing for oily skin. Now, it does. It does, it does, it does, and does. If you're really oily like I am, especially, like I'm oily all over, but my T-zone, like right here, gets like raging out of control oily especially my nose it's just like an oil slick field all up in here so I do have to blot I would say probably seven or eight hours after wearing this I don't have to blot immediately I can get away with a good portion of the day not blotting it's just at the end of the day if I'm still going to go out and do stuff I do have to blot just because the oil builds up so much and it then it just starts kind of like it won't slide off but you can it's just like sitting there like an oil filled pool and it's really gross so anyways um I'm going to show you how I apply it. I used um, for my primer, it's the new Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. If you have not tried these bad boys, I'm going to talk about this more in my March favorites that are coming up because can you guys believe March is almost over? Like, <sighs> anyways, I'll be talking about this more, but if you have not tried these, Makeup Forever redid all their primers. Now they're called Skin Equalizers. They came out with 10 new ones. If you haven't, try them absolutely love them so I set that one this is the mattifying one I did my primer with that first I'm gonna use my dirty beauty blender and use this to put on my makeup now I have found you can build up to full coverage with this I typically don't, especially with drugstore, because just because there's, it's usually so much smaller than high end that I don't want to waste product. 
but you can get a pretty decent coverage. Bring it into my ear, down my neck. As far as the color, this is a pretty, like, the tan's kind of fading a smidge. I probably look, you know, slightly on the yellowy side, but that's okay. Normally, when I first put on my self-tanner, it's the first couple days, um, it works really well. I will be doing a review of two different self-tanners I've tried, one that has worked and one that hasn't. Um, although this one that has worked initially, I'm having problems with. And I don't know if it's just because every time I try to exfoliate, not all of it comes off. But I still do self-tanner, and so it's getting patchy in certain areas. I don't know if it's that or if I'm just... I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but... Anywho. That's the dilemma I'm in. But that's probably just about as much as I'm going to do. I'll go in with concealer or anything to touch up any blemishes that are appearing like on my forehead and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. And again, I mean, the formulation is amazing. I really think this has become my favorite foundation. And even when I'm not self tanning I think I'm going to love it in the <laughs> white shade that I'm in. And like this is a formula I could definitely get behind and wear all year round. I'm not sure. This is new on the market. As far as color range, they did have a nice set of colors. I feel like if you're on the darker end of the spectrum, there's probably not as many colors out there. But I do feel like if you are on the lighter to medium, like fair to medium spectrum, you are going to find a shade that matches you. But if you're like medium to dark, you might have a harder time. And that's just, I find that's makeup in general. But I really, really, really love this formula. If you have oily combination skin, I think you're going to love this bad boy. So, yeah, anyways, that's it for my review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't, subscribe and give a thumbs up to see more videos. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest at Hopeful Forever. I'll leave the links down below. I'm sorry I haven't been filming so much. Y'all, life as a student, trying to get it start on YouTube is crazy. Um, I had spring break. It was in a week earlier than normal this year, so it kind of threw everything off. I've started more classes. It's just been crazy but I will be having my March favorites will probably be my next video and then I'll start doing some self tanning reviews um and if you guys just have any advice for self tanning as you can see my arms I mean my neck I just I don't know what I'm doing wrong so if you have any advice let me know in the comments below and that's it thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video bye